This week's word of the week is going to be 6G. Now what is 6G? 6G is a pipe position. It's, at, it's when you have your pipe at a 45 degree angle and you weld it from the bottom up. In our case, we're going to do a, an imaginary kind of certification, I guess. But we're going to use the D1.1 AWS structural steel welding cone to do that. It uh, usually dictates that you start at the bottom and go to the top. Um, we're going to kind of alleviate some of the myths about 6G. Uh, when you go on a recruitment trip to a, a school and they say, oh, well, 6G uh, certify you, you're good for everything, right? Well, that's not exactly true, but it is like the, the holy grail of certifications that every welder strives to, you know, get certified in, a, in the 6G position, right? 45 degree fixed pipe. On a scale of 1 to 10, if you don't know what 6G is, 10 being a big deal, 1 being not that big of a deal, it's probably like an 8 or 9. Everybody needs to know what a 6G pipe position is if you're in the welding field. So our imaginary test that we're doing here, two inch pipe with a 0.25 uh, wall thickness, it's steel, you're gonna wall it with 7018, and you're gonna use a backing ring. So we're gonna pretend like we just certified you to this right here. So you're 6G certified to all that. What does that do for you in the real world? Qualified, question mark. Well, it's the D1.1, that's the standard you're using, so it's only, you're only qualified to the D1.1, which is a structural application. I got that down here, structural. So if there's something flowing through this, you're not certified. All pipe and plate positions, that's what you're certified to. What does that mean? Uh, fill weld, flat, horizontal, vertical, overhead, all that. Same thing with pipe. 1G, 2G, 5G, 6G, whatever. You're certified in all positions. This is why everybody wants to be 6G certified, right? All positions, right? Diameters, so what diameter pipe can you be certified to? According to the D1.1, if you do it on a two inch pipe, three quarters of an inch, two four inch. So what happens if you have to weld a six inch pipe? You're not certified. Thickness, eighth of an inch to three quarters of an inch wall thickness. So what happens if your wall thickness is an inch? You're not certified. And we already over structural. So this is what you're, what you're qualified for doing a two inch, one quarter inch wall thickness, 6G uh, certification. This right here. People get confused. All pipe and plate positions. They think that once you've gotten 6G certified, you can weld anything. So what we've done here is I wrote down on the front what you are certified to weld or qualified to weld. And now we're going to go over what you're not. I got that written back here. We're going to go on. Let me just adjust this camera and make it a little wider here. All right, we went to our wide angle lens here. This is just the stuff off the top of my head that you're not certified to based off of the test that we just explained on that first board there. The standards, you're only certified to D1.1 structural steel. So ASME, ANSI, ASTM, uh, oh, ISO, NACE, AWWA, SAE, API, any of those codes, if that's the requirement for you to be certified, you're not certified. Thicknesses, less than an eighth of an inch, you're not certified. Greater than three quarters of an inch, you're not certified. Diameters, less than three quarters of a diameter pipe, you're not certified. Greater than four inch pipe, you're not certified. By the way, if you're TIG welding, you're not certified. MIG welding, not certified. Flux core, not certified. Plasma, not certified. Sub arc, not certified. Oxy fuel welding, not certified. That's a lot of processes, right? Materials. Aluminum, not certified. Stainless, not certified. Titanium, not certified. Inco, not certified. Magnesium, Monel, not certified. Other things I wrote down. You're only good for 7018. If you have to roll with 6010, you're not certified. If you have to do an open roof, you use backing, you're not certified. You can only go vertical up because you tested vertical up, not certified. Those are a ton of processes, standards, and all that other stuff that you're just not certified to. So I guess the main thing I'm trying to get my point across here is just because you're 6G certified does not mean that you can weld anything that you want. Now, that being said, it's a good thing to have on the resume that you've been 6G certified. It gives you a, a wide range of positions, a pretty good uh, range of diameters and thicknesses, but I'm going to try and clear up some of the myths on certifications in the next video that we're going to do. We're going to actually do a, a certification, a real life one, and show you the whole process. But there's a ton of things you can be certified to. So just because you're 6G certified does not mean that you can weld anything. It gives you a, a, a decent range 
I mean, if you got 60 certified in this and TIG, MIG, and stick, that's going to give you a, a wide range of things to be able to weld. But there is no certification that just says you're welder, you're certified, you're good to go on anything, right? That's my whole point on this. Um, 6G certification is a good one to get because it does give you all positions and, and a wide uh, range of diameters and thicknesses, but it doesn't mean you can weld anything. So just understand that 6G is a 45 degree fixed pipe position and it gives you all the positions if you get certified in it, but it's only to the standard that you do the certification to and the process that you do. And you know, so it, it, it's limited, but it's one of the more broad positions that you get certified in. It does give you a little wide range, but you're, there is no certification that just says, I'm certified, I'm good to go. I hope that makes sense. And like I said, we're gonna do a video uh, with an actual certification here next week. So until then, we'll see you. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the TV. Well, hopefully you know what 6G is and you understand a little bit about the what, what you're qualified and not qualified to do. Yeah.